fighting good afternoon i would like to explain about payment batch or ppr process in fusion and ebs application in payable mode before discussing ppr as a consultant we should know some basic information like uh, let us take uh, dell computer our client name is dell computer you are implementing fusion applications now dell computer will use the payable application to to maintain outstanding as on date we can call liability that is main objective to record now dell computer ap head will communicate to consultant i want to make the single payment whenever required we will suggest the quick payment manual payment second scenario he may ask it i want to make bunch of in you know, a voices payments in evs or fusion payables yes we can give the process we will suggest it use the payment batch or ppr process in the payable application within the payments client will communicate us present system i am using the payments to the vendors or disbursing the amount to the vendors by payment methods payment i would like to use in the erp application yes we can say it is possible to use so we will be consider payment methods like to check electronic and wire then that first question what is the payment method payment method nothing but what is the mode of the payment we are giving to the vendor as per agreement like check electronic or wire method then ppr is the one of the critical process to consider many eligible invoices to make the payment as a single go we have the different selection criteria to the ppr like uh, pay through date payment method pay group invoice batch name or group name supplier type supplier business unit legal entity source wise once user started running the payment batch we can see the different uh, stages or stage for payment batch like start stage bid stage for electronic we can see the select stage build stage format file finalization confirmation so select stage first what will happen when ppr initiate that will be select the all eligible invoices as a selection stage then the user can review then he, he can over if don't require terminate it then we determine how many invoice it will be considered build stage you can terminate modify remove the invoice from ppr even electronic payment method also then format based on the bank bank of america or hsbc or city bank 
that file format will be finalized to be printed in payment method electronic that file will be then print stage you can print the checks with the laser printed once confirmed enter batch completed then once confirmed you can't terminate it cancel it modified you, you can if you required you can do the wide payment when it comes to fusion, if I go here, navigation, payables, payments, we can see the first page, PPR status control, attention required, completed, terminate, you can happily review here. You can see file requiring attention. If you go here, you can see the submit PPR, Submit payment batches. Like here, you can initiate the PPR with the selection criteria. Then once completed PPR, you can see the manage PPR. There you can search with the different criteria. Here we have the stages like uh, selection stage, build stage, Payment validation, document validation, nothing but format. Completed, nothing but confirmed status. Terminated. Initial, initial term, you can terminate it if there are like uh, not selected by users or if you don't require it. So these are all information we need to understand to finalize the payment batches, payment format, payment selection, payment file format. Once you completed PPR, we will initiate the create accounting program. We can call subledger program to do accounting for all payments to clear the outstanding to clear that payments. Well, yeah.